Let's see how features can be created and manipulated without dependencies using Solid Edge with synchronous technology. The base of this pressure cooker was started in Solid Edge by another engineer, but we need to complete the design. Solid Edge captures feature operations in a collection and is significantly different from a feature tree in a history based CAD system. Here, we can sort the collection by name or type, group features regardless of where they are in the collection, and even reorder features at will. The biggest difference is that the model does not regenerate as in a history-based system. To prove this, watch as we delete a feature from the collection and as it instantly disappears from the model. Let's finish the design by adding a complex locking mechanism. We could draw these sketches complete with dimensions and relationships, but we'll just sketch the general shape and adjust its size later. Because of the region concept in Solid Edge, sketch elements need not be accurately connected to form the actual regions. This saves a bit of time in not having to be precise when drawing your profiles. As opposed to choosing a different command for specific operations, we can add or remove material without any commands. Watch as we drag a region to get either a cutout or a protrusion. Trying this same process in a traditional CAD system would force you to choose different commands depending on the desired result so you would not be able to experiment this quickly. You can select regions individually, or to save some time, choose multiples by fencing them in. Let's adjust the size of these features by adding parameterized control. Solid Edge includes 3D driving dimensions that can be added directly to a 3D model at any time. This capability allows tremendous flexibility in evaluating design alternatives. By changing a dimensional value, the model updates in real time. While we're using a wheel mouse to change the dimension, you can enter a precise value in just about any unit of measure. You can also select geometry directly, and with a handy grab-and-go handle, a quick rotate lets you test alternative designs. Let's see another example of dependentless features. While our new features were created on existing geometry, we can modify operations that happened earlier in the process. You would expect to be able to change the height of the locking pins, but watch how we can alter the base. Imagine the flexibility in being able to change operations regardless of order. Making these edits in a traditional CAD system would require a complete rollback to that point in time, erasing any point of reference for measurement. We'll make one last design iteration and move the cone-shaped supports. Solid Edge with synchronous technology is smart enough to wrap the existing blend up and around our feature. No system in the world allows you to develop feature-based models without the limitations and performance issues of ordered model regeneration.